so this is a, a video of the next project that I'm doing um, to uh, develop um, a Wi-Fi controlled uh, on and off timer for the live well on my uh, Sea Arc. Uh, the problem that I have with it is it has a live well, uh, but it runs the pump on it runs it will run continuously and my concern is that it will run my battery down, um, my cranking battery down, uh, rendering me stranded uh, somewhere on a fishing trip. So the idea here is to uh, develop a uh, timer, uh, the hardware and the software for it, so that I can control uh, the on time and the off time uh, for the for the live well, uh, the live well pump. So. What I've got so far is uh, the uh, the web app uh, that I wrote uh, for the con the uh, controlling interface. Uh, you've got the on and off switch here, uh, and then I've got uh, just two placeholders here for for other stuff that I might want to do. Um, and then below this is um, where I'll set the on time and the off time for the um, for the timer. Um, this is the prototyping that I'm doing. Uh, the chip that I plan on using um, is um, the ESP32 uh, WROM board, room board, uh, 32D. Um, I might switch to the 32U um, at a later time in case I have to extend the antenna. Um, but right now I'm just going with the 32D. It has the uh, antenna uh, built into the board. So uh, what this demo shows is the Arduino code that I've written um, that's using uh, a web socket uh, to do the control the, to do the communications between uh, the the Apple and the iPhone and the ESP32 chip that'll be uh, running on uh, installed on the PCB board. Uh, with some other peripherals. Uh, really, don't, I think there's only one other peripheral, and that'll be the relay switch um, that'll cut the, uh, the pump on and off. Uh, the challenge with the hardware is going to be the amount of amps that the, that the pump is going to be uh, using. Um, I believe it's at 12 volts. It uses 6 to 7 amps because um, it's a really good pump. It moves a lot of water. Um, and it, uh, uh, when the water comes in, it agitates the water really well to keep it keep it aerated. So it's a. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to figure out uh, how to get it to work uh, with the components that'll be on the PCB board. Uh, I've got a PCB board design using dip trace. It'll be my first time using dip trace, um, and actually it'll be my first. It'll be my second uh, PCB board that I'm having um, actually uh, produced. Uh, that I'll get it and reflow it uh, in my leaf row oven. Uh, so I'll do assembly and reflow with it too. So I'll show the circuit uh, design that I did in dip trace in another video. But in this one, I wanted to show kind of how this uh, is going to work. Um, so let me refresh it again. Oop. I need to do that. All right, so you can see here, uh, this is the... Uh, the web page loading and connecting to uh, the web page um, with the way this will work is I'll take the uh, on time and set the on time with these sliders and then there's the uh, off time uh, with the bottom slider and when um, I set it what it's doing is just showing kind of what the board is receiving for on time and off time. Uh, those are just some messages there. Uh, when I turn this on, uh, there's another message that starts, it pops up, and then you can say, you can see where um, it's counting off. Uh, at this point, I'm just using seconds, but I'll switch it to minutes. Uh, but you can see where it's going to, it's on seven seconds and off for five based on uh, these settings right here and I can change it whoop, I can change it on the fly down to two 
and then up here you can see where the settings have come through and now it's off three seconds and on for uh, uh, five seconds so uh, what's cool about it is I can also just turn it off um, and uh, it stops um, and uh, this, so that would just stop the pump altogether um, and then I can turn the timer back on um, and you can see the the relay that I've got there just to test everything out um, that's just a prototyping relay and you can see it uh, cutting on for five seconds and turning off for two so uh, I've got the boards um, ordered from Osh Park and um, I got the email that they shipped today uh, I'm excited about them arriving I think I get them Monday um, the boards um, that I'm getting will help me uh, finish up my reflow oven um, and then I'll finish up once I finish up that I'll be able to order the boards for this project um, and hopefully uh, get something that um, I can you know engineer a solution to help me with um, uh, keeping the keeping the bait fresh in my boat so um, it's been a neat project and um, I'll keep everyone informed how it goes thank you